Hello guys, welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'll show you the easiest way to perform a clean install of Windows 11 without using a USB drive. Whether you've lost your USB, it's broken, or you just want to skip the extra steps of creating a bootable drive, this method has you covered. Now, a clean install means completely wiping and formatting the C drive, which allows for a fresh installation of Windows. So before you begin, make sure to back up any important files from your C drive to avoid losing them. I have only a single C drive partition, but if you have multiple drives, be sure to select the correct one for installation. All right, let's get started. First, open your web browser and search for Windows 11 ISO file. Click on the official Microsoft website and download the latest version. Since this is a large file, make sure you have a stable internet connection to avoid any interruptions. Once the download is complete, we're going to create a separate partition to store the Windows 11 installation files. This step ensures a smooth installation process without the need for external media. So right click on your Windows Start button and select Disk Management Tool. We will create a dedicated partition to store the Windows 11 installation files. Now right click on your C drive and select Shrink Volume. Allocate minimum 8 gigabytes of space for the new partition. This is a safe amount for storing the Windows 11 installation files. You can see unallocated space. Right click on the newly unallocated space and select New Simple Volume. Simply keep clicking Next through the setup process. In the volume label name, change it to something like Windows Installer for easy identification during Windows setup process. Then click Finish. Once completed, the new partition should now be visible in File Explorer. Now, locate the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded earlier. Right click on the ISO and select Mount. This will automatically mount the ISO as a virtual DVD drive on your system. Copy all the files and folders inside and navigate to the partition you created earlier. Paste all the copied files into the partition. Once that's done, you're all set to move on to the next steps of the Clean Windows 11 installation. Now, restart your computer and boot into recovery mode to continue the installation process. After your computer restarts, the advanced startup option screen will appear. Click on the troubleshoot, then select advanced options. Choose command prompt. This will launch the command prompt window, allowing you to proceed with the installation process. Using command prompt, you will launch the Windows 11 setup file directly from the Windows installer partition we created. However, before proceeding, we need to verify the correct drive letter assigned to the partition. In the command prompt, type disk part and press enter. This will open the Disk Partition Utility, which is used for managing disks and partitions. Type List Volume and press Enter. This command will display all the partitions on your computer, along with their respective labels and assigned drive letters. Next, identify the partition where you copied the Windows 11 installation files and note its assigned drive letter. In my case, the partition is labelled Volume 2 and letter is C, but yours may be different, so make sure to check carefully. Exit the disk part utility by typing exit and pressing enter. Now navigate to the drive where you copied the Windows 11 installation files. In my case, it's the C drive. To begin the installation, type this command instead of C, type your volume label and press enter. This will launch the Windows 11 setup program.
On the disk management screen, you'll see a list of your computer's partitions. First, format and delete all system partitions associated with the previous operating system. Be extremely careful not to delete other drives, as formatting the wrong partition could result in permanent data loss. I have only a single drive where Windows is installed, but if you have multiple drives, it's crucial to back up your data before proceeding. Additionally, do not delete the Windows installer partition, as it contains the ISO files necessary for installation. Now that we have unallocated space for the Windows installation, click on Create Partition. This will create a new Windows partition, along with the necessary system and recovery drives for the fresh installation. Next, select the partition where your previous operating system was installed and click Next. Windows will now begin the installation process, configuring settings and installing necessary drivers. This may take some time and will include several automatic restarts. You'll be prompted to select your region, language and keyboard layout, connect to Wi-Fi, create a user account and configure other initial settings. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the Windows 11 setup process. Alright, as you can see, Windows 11 has been successfully installed on our machine. Now, if I open File Explorer, you'll notice two drives, one containing the Windows partition, C drive. The other is the Windows installer drive, D drive. The ISO partition we created as a bootable USB. Since we've completed the installation, we no longer need the D drive to remove it. Right click on the Windows icon and select Disk Management. Locate the ISO partition, in my case it's D drive, then right click on it and select delete volume. Click yes to confirm. Now, the deleted partition will appear as unallocated space. You can use this space to create a new partition. Right click on the unallocated space and select new simple volume. Click next, then next again and finally finish. Just follow the on-screen instructions and your system will create a new partition. Now, if we check again, you'll see that we have two partitions. C drive, containing Windows 11. D drive, the newly created partition. And that's it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful and that it made the process easier for you. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips, tutorials and troubleshooting guides. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop a comment below. I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.